Hello everyone, FetchNX here. Welcome back to Future's Edge, a mod pack created by Landstrider. I'm playing on his server, which is sponsored by Empty Game, and we're going to get into some technology. I went mining, guys, and I got 48 copper and 57 copper. We got the two different types, forestry and immersive engineering. Engineering. I hope that lasts a while. I don't know if it's going to with the, the stuff it uh, takes, but Landstrider says once we get into kind of some tech, we won't need copper as much. And especially now we're going to get a sag mill and we're going to start doubling our ores. Should help. So let's get that going. Uh, definitely want to start with the sag mill today. And I've got all the things for it. Iron, obsidian, two pistons, machine chassis, which we got from a, roar, a reward from the previous quest, and flint. So it's actually really easy to get the sag mill once you do the alloy furnace. So sag mill, blah, blah, blah. Craft, done, sweet. Oh, hold on. I don't want to do it in there. I'm nervous it's not going to count it if I do it there, so I always do it in a vanilla one. Um, so that will give me, make sure there's no, oh, look, I got a uh, donkey. Yay, donkey! And somehow a sheep just spawned randomly in the donkey pen. <laughs> it just, you know, it just spawned there. That That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah. So reward for that quest will be... Dark Steel or Dark Steel Ball... Um, let's see, you put, I think you put these in the sag mill and they, bonus output, main output, power reduction. How long do those last? I need to research those to see if they're, they look useful, depending on how they, how long they last in there. But I think we'll probably just go with the dark steel for now. Yeah. Okay, let's climb up the ladder. I'm, I still don't have enough copper to make the, the stupid wires. <laughs> so we're just going to head on up here and. Wire it up in the air. That's a lot of fun, right? Alright. So, that's our alloy smelter. We'll go ahead and put the sag mill over on this side. I'm going to need to go ahead and steal this wire. Don't fall off this time. Okay, thank you. Add a connector and connect it. Alright, so sag mill is up and running. Gain a little bit of power. I think that's where you put the balls. Uh, maybe we'll make one and just see how long it lasts. It's a lot more fun to do trial and error investigation than going on some website and figuring it out. So, <laughs> probably do that. A little light here. I don't want to mobs to spawn. Um, speaking of mob spawning, have you guys seen the new F7 mode? It's like no longer X's. They're now circles where mobs can spawn. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, so... That. And let's get all of our copper... There's nothing in this pack, as far as I know, that'll go beyond doubling, so we might as well just stick it all in there. Um, obviously, we're gonna need a hopper for that as well. I thought, thought I picked up a hopper in a dungeon. Oh, I got six hoppers. I stumbled across like a firework spawning system, and so I got a ton of redstone and hoppers and repeaters and just all kinds of junk. So I took that thing down. Alrighty then. Um, put the hot. Actually, let's just go ahead and start this guy going. Start with forest D copper. We should get two copper dust or something out of that, out of this. And it looks like the power is we're generating more power than we're using. That is awesome. I'm happy about that. Um, remember, Endero machines when they're full power, they they work a little faster and use a little more. So hopefully, we hover around somewhere pretty high. Oh, we got extra gold. That is awesome. I forget that you get extra bonus material out of this. Um, so we're going to get some cobble and some gold in addition to our ore doubling. Okay, so let's put one of these there. And put that in there. Just want to make sure it works. Yep, it will feed in there. Okay. And does it make the same stuff? Yes, it does. Okay, sweet. I think. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. If it, if it doesn't work, that's, that's going to be fine. So let's take this 12 copper that we made from 6 ore and go ahead and start uh, smelting it up. And hopefully we can make a little bit more wire and hook all of our machines up and actually move them down into these houses rather than having to climb the ladder every time we want to smelt something or retrieve some ores. That sounds like a great idea. Um, oh, I should have... Okay. <laughs> I should have used the machine, but... <laughs> Uh, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. 
Wait, what? Can I Alright, more hearts. We're up to 12. We might as well use them. Sixteen, and I just wanted to show you guys something, just, just so you can see. There's some server info here. Leaderboards. Deaths per hour. <laughs> Lord Raccoon is taking the lead. Uh, Saint Fell was in the lead earlier. Uh, look at this. Zero. Oh, yeah. There's only a couple of us. But there, there's the whole list of everybody that's been on the server. Um, a lot of them have YouTube channels, so check out the description below and go look at their videos. Um, let's go back and just look at mob kills. I'm not doing that bad. Esk is kicking my butt. You know, all, all these guys in the lead are, but we're doing we're doing okay. All right, well, Cortana wanted to talk to me there. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, number of deaths. Again, I'm at here at zero. Cinephil, 12, S6, crazy eight. Man, we'd be almost almost kicked off the server if we were dying that many times. Uh, and then time played. Yeah, I've played, what, 16 hours on the server? That give you an give you an idea. All right. Well, we just got some dark steel. We might as well use it. And if I look at quest line here, um, if we go back to gear, uh, one of it wants is dark steel or dark tools, but that requires the dark steel quest, um, which I guess is in tech tree. Yep, there it is. So it's not gonna let us get that until we get the smelter. Uh, we haven't. Oh shoot. Are you serious? Yep, yeah, gotta build another one. All right, well, we'll have two alloy smelters. One for smelting and one for alloy smelting. That's stupid. And uh, once we get that, we can get very advanced machines, heavy machines, light machines, forestry machines. There's everything. Slice and spice, fermenter, and then soul stuff. Okay. Well, let me... I'm just going to go ahead and... and uh, Get all that copper, uh, both ground and um, smelted. <laughs> and while I'm that, doing that, I'll work on the recipe, uh, the all the um, parts for the smelter and the Sterling engine. And we'll be back to uh, check out what we can do with the the dark steel. Be right back, guys. Guys, I'm back a little bit earlier than I thought I would be. A uh, Landstrider hopped on the server and fixed my quest. Um, he says he intended it to be simultaneous, so even if you built things before they were unlocked, they would still give you credit. So because of that, he um, unlocked this recipe, f or this uh, quest for me. So may as well get some quest rewards, some Dark Seal. Um, oh, got to claim it. There we go. Now, that unlocked a few new things. Uh, we've got very advanced machines here, which takes this machine frame from RF Tools, and that's going to give us into um, some new RF Tools stuff, like uh, dimensions and things. It also opened up this quest line called Nanotech, which Landstrider just put into the pack, and I believe this deals with Blood Magic. Uh, I have not played with the new Blood Magic. It's changed quite a bit, so we're going to have to get into this. Hopefully, maybe, maybe next episode, we'll see. Um, but let's go back to the tech line and let's get this dark steel. I should have eight. You don't have to um, actually craft it. You just have to have it. It's going to consume eight steel but give you back nine. So, sure. All right. Did it consume it? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to see. Um, so let's go back there and claim the quest reward and get our nine steel back. Uh, we also get to pick, oh, a lot, a lot more dark steel. A dark steel anvil. Damage resistance. Does that mean it never uh, goes away? Oh yeah, lasts much longer than the vanilla anvil. Okay, that's cool. And our diamond block. Uh, let's take the dark steel block. I've got quite a few diamonds right now, and I can just keep building dark or regular anvils if I need to. So that seems good. We should be able to get tons of dark steel stuff now. Um, let's look and yeah, now we got. 36. We traded 8 for 36. Uh, just in case I want more dark steel, I want to make sure that this alloy smelter is working the way it's supposed to. And I swear we're not going to be climbing up here a lot longer to do this, guys. But yeah, look at all this copper. Um, oh, we've run out of power. Let's let's go make another copper wire. Uh, this can do more copper. That lasted pretty long. That smelted like a stack of copper 
without power input, just what it had stored. So I think this windmill is going to be actually pretty sufficient for you know the the near future. We'll definitely get some more power, but I'm surprised it's doing this well. Okay, so I was going to get uh, copper cable. Nope. Uh, LV, maybe that's, yeah. So any one of these, so four copper wires, four copper plates, eight copper bars. So we can say one of those, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one of those. Oh, need some sticks. Where to put the sticks? They are right there. Okay, got one of those. Um, we will need a connector now. Where did I stick all those? Okay. Might as well just throw both of them down. The capacitors in uh, in this mod are input-output, so as long as you have them connected to the network, they'll store and they'll give power if needed. So we should be able to go... Go stand on this. One there, one there. Whoa! <laughs> Did I just get a free wire? No, it's a visual glitch. Okay, it went away. I was like, what is going on? Um, so yeah, I'm just going to connect it directly to the windmill. Cannot attach the wire here. Why not? Okay, yeah, that, that was a pain, but I think I figured out this has changed since the last time I played Immersive Engineering. Uh, but the connectors, as far as I can tell, can only have one wire on them. Whereas the relays can have multiple. And I know this relay is not actually doing anything for the capacitor, Just I just put it down there to try it. But So if you want to do a line of machines, you have to connect them to relays, and then the relays can connect to multiple things. So I could do another wire from this relay to this wire, uh, the furnace, the sag mill. Um, but then if I wanted the capacitor in, I'd have to have another, like, put the relay over here. And, or uh, the capacitor over here and have another connector and connect to the relay. So, yeah, that's kind of a pain. Makes you lose a lot, use a lot more wire. Um, oh well, <laughs> we figured it out. We're at least getting power there now, and uh, can connect another one back there when I'm ready. Um, so, as I was saying, some dark steel. So we go into alloy mode. I think it'll work on all mode as well. Uh, but we're gonna stick some obsidian in there, some steel, and some coal powder, which you get from sag milling coal or coal ore. Um, do you have to do it? Oh yeah, it's working. I was like, why is it working? Not working. Uh, four, six percent. So it's going pretty slow to make this dark steel. You need a lot of time. It's probably also because I don't have any, uh, whatever goes in there. Can't remember the name of them. Uh, put one in there to go a little bit faster because we'll get, be able to store more and use more per tick. Um, but yeah, there it goes. Making me some dark steel. Let's use the dark steel now. That's, that's what we came for. That's what we came for. Uh, my diamond pick is almost completely gone, so I'm looking to replace it with a dark steel pick. And let's get into that. So, uh, might as well follow the quest line. Go back to gear. You can see there's dark tools. It wants a dark pick and a dark axe. Dark steel is very durable uh, material, <laughs> able to accept upgrades that greatly enhance their natural strengths. Okay, able to accept upgrades. I can't remember how to put stuff. Oh yeah, the vibrant crystal stuff. Okay, yeah, I remember that. All right, so let's make a dark pick here. Um, I don't remember if they're just like standard Minecraft recipes or not. Yep, they are. Missing items, I need some sticks. Dark steel, dark picks there. So one of those, and a dark axe. Sweet. Alright, we might want to make a... Looks like a bow is the only other thing we can make. That's all dark matter. Is there a, a dark sword? Or is that what the ender is? It is the ender of the dark sword. Uh, then we've got also... 
Helms. Yeah, look at that. You can put all this stuff on it. Powered sound, night vision, solar, natural sight, and Apiar's hat. Yeah, we gotta get some cool stuff, guys. I'm sick of wearing just iron armor. Um, but yeah, complete the quest. Let's see what it gives us. What do we win? We win either a dark pick with Fortune 3 and Soulbound on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, efficiency 5 and Soulbound Axe. Or a Power 5 Bow. Hmm. I like the Fortune 3. If I use that, you know, on diamonds and stuff, I can do pretty decently. So... Yeah, we could probably get the Dark Pick and then just put some, uh, some Fortune, or some Efficiency on it. I think that's what we're gonna do. Eh, let's do it. Whatever. I now want some, uh, to make the Ender. Okay. Let's see if we have the stuff for that. And then we're going to get to pick which ender we want. I like the way the quest progress. Yeah, Landstrider, good job with that. You kind of build it, and then it rewards you for building it. All right. Oh, that's a piece of cake to make. All right, there's our ender. <laughs> what? There we go. Okay, whatever. Sometimes it doesn't auto detect. Our choices here are empowered four and travel. Uh, empowered gives damage absorbed by power. Oh, so instead of instead of taking durability, it would take it would use power. Okay, and it also has travel. Hold shift and right click to teleport and activate a travel anchor or ender IO. Oh, so I can teleport or use a travel anchor. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, this one is the Ender Sharpness 5 Empowered. This is only f Empowered, like, 1, because it's only 50%. And this one, Looting 3 with Empowered... No, not Empowered at all. Uh, it's got Skull and Interpol Drops. They all have that, right? Yeah. Okay. Hmm, looting three, sharpness five, or teleportation with RF and using RF. I think we're gonna go sharpness. Yeah, we're gonna go sharpness. Oh, looting though. I like a strong sword. All right, we're doing it. And now it wants us to build a whole set of armor. And then it kind of gives us some stuff to enchant on our own. So, yeah, let's do it. Uh, what's this called again? Dark. I think we have just barely enough. So, dark helmet. Dark chest piece. Legs. Yep. And feet. We had four extra. Sweet. And we're making what, three more up top. So that's good. Now do we want four capacitors? That would give, we could upgrade each one to um, take RF instead of durability. Uh, four vibrant crystals. I can't remember what that one does. <laughs> or a protection four, one protected four book? Come on, Landstrider, I need four protection four books. Um, let's look again at this. Empowered apiary span. So Vibrant Crystal, okay. So it looks like I want the Vibrant Crystals. Sounds good. And that ends the gear quest. Sweet. Done. Nothing else needed. Now can I enchant this stuff as well? I can't remember. Let's go look. Oops. How do zombies get in my base? Go kill them, guards. I'm busy. <laughs> Let the guards do it. Alright, so that there. Yes, I can. Okay. But I'm not going to do it until I have more bookshelves. Um, so I'm not, you know, so I can put some level 30 enchants on there. But that is awesome. And I don't remember how to use the vibrant crystals. 
Okay, guys, did a little quick research, and I remember you put them in an anvil uh, with the item, and you'll get the output. So, what are we going to call these? I don't know. I'm not going to change the name. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah, so we'll get the dark helmet here. Empowered. So, empowered is the first thing I think you have to put on, on all the armor. But you'll see once I have Empowered, then it unlocks a bunch of stuff. Empowered 2, Glider, Elytra, APRS stuff. So, that's cool. Uh, if we're going to do bees, we need the APRS stuff and all our armor, or else we'll get stung. So, maybe we can combine that in our dark stuff. So, yeah. Um, I will... I'm going to hold off on equipping it, because I need to now power it. So, I need a charging station, and I need to get enchants on it. So... Let's hold off on all this stuff. Um, oh, it didn't take that dark pick. Okay, we'll put that one in there. And oh, I need to empower you as well. Oh, well. Okay. Um, yeah, we're out of time, guys. And I'm trapped in my house. Uh, so I hope you like that episode. We're progressing along. I think this is going to be the one of the last episodes in this house this village i'm gonna start building my actual um, base pretty soon um i think i want to expand a little bit into magic maybe just basic stuff because i've never done i don't even know what a nanite snare a rudimentary snare is so <laughs> we'll at least do the basic stuff um for blood magic just to get into it and uh, then we will start building our base and moving everything in there and progressing and doing a lot of fun stuff and actually getting into the core of the pack. We're really just still in the basic levels. And uh, yeah, so having fun. If you guys enjoyed it, you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check out everybody else on the server and their channels. And I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later. Bye.